So we, oh my god, we just found a case down here. And I think this might be our bridge, too. Wait, so hold on. What side of the bridge? Mm, is that down here? Oh, no, no. Be careful, Sherlock. You don't do so well in water. Yeah, is, is this the bridge? It looks like it, right? Like it has the, the moss, like it has the covering and everything, and we can walk below it. Hold on. Maybe not? I don't know. It look. I mean, it looks a lot like that bridge. Yeah, it wouldn't be this side, I guess. It would have to be the other side. Oh, you know, that definitely looks like it, though. Okay, hold on, hold on. So, yeah, we want to get to here. We did find the bridge. Oh, wow. I really did not expect us to find it right there. And we got another case out of it. Damn. Yeah, it's right down this way, I think. Oh, that's cool. I mean, I'm glad that we found that and we got a new case. So, yeah, we're looking. It should be on the rocks right, ooh, right about right about here. Somewhere around. Hmm. Oh, no, there it is. Perfect. Jerry, I think we're getting the hang of this. I think so, too, buddy. What, what a lovely shot. Yeah, look out to see, buddy. Look out to see Wistful. I want to see thought... In those eyes. Beautiful stuff, buddy. Beautiful stuff. Yeah, Sherlock does not like the water. That is for sure. Okay, so we, I mean, we wrapped it. Oh, man, we have another case here. That's crazy. So we have a beach crime scene. All right, well, let's go investigate that. Okay. So, what is there to examine here? He's definitely not doing good. Well, I mean, I feel like if we're going to be a, a detective of the sea... We should update our outfit. Oh, do we not have like a full pirate outfit? Oh, that's unfortunate. But well, we have a pirate hat. I mean, this is kind of close. This is pirate adjacent. You know, it's not perfect. Yeah, the eye patch has definitely got to be it. And we have like, ooh, yeah, good stubble or good beard. Oh, yeah. Ooh, black eye, nah. Fake bruises. Let's see. Yeah, scarred face. Yeah, we are we are full pirate right now. It's not a great outfit, but it's an okay one. All right, so here's the bottle. Oh, the siren song wine, eh? Uh huh. Maybe it wasn't the siren, but the song that got him. There's still some left, just enough for a tipple. Uh, we have a wine sample, so we can analyze that. Maybe there's a, a chemical in it. Maybe they were drugged and drowned? Interesting. All right, so we have minus four, minus one, minus two. How do we want to kick this off? Minus four, minus one, minus two. Hmm. Interesting. This is tough. Mainly because they don't really all align super well. If I go here and do combine this, I get the minus one. But I still need minus four here. I guess I could... Ooh, yeah, that is actually kind of tricky. Because... I need to do a minus... I guess I could flip this, right? Like, I could do, like, so. So now it's minus four and combine that with that. So, combine you here. Like so. So now I have minus one and two. And if I do this, it'll be minus, minus two. So it'll be minus one and minus two. But now I have to deal with, how do I get to minus four? I guess what I could do is swap this around and then minus. So minus three and then minus four. Yeah, I think we got it. So we have minus four, minus one, minus two. Great. So now we combine them here. Combine you here. Combine you here. Combine there. Right? Oh, oh no, I missed a step. I missed a step. Uh, get rid of you. Get rid of you. And now I can need to combine these two then combine that. 
Gotcha. So combine you here. There we go. So now we have minus one, minus two. Now we can combine these and we'll have it. Perfect. Up here and here and boom. Excellent. So what's the analysis, Sherry? The sediment contains cyanide. So they didn't even die from dry drowning. They were poisoned. The sediment contains cyanide. It turns out he was poisoned. Uh, very poisoned. Well, say that fellow drank himself to death. He wasn't I mean, wrong. yeah, he wasn't wrong, except, you know, it wasn't from the booze. It's a good thing the tide hasn't washed away the tracks. I should inspect Ooh, are we finally get to examine places. some footsteps. Excellent. Okay, so I found these three sets of footprints at the crime scene. Okay, well, we'll investigate that in a second. I want to see if there's anything else around here. Anything on the dock here? Oh, something was here. Give me a little vibe. Ah, what do we have here? Uh, is that a cigar? Oh, oh, are these the footsteps? Okay, well, we have a cigarette here. A bright red lip rouge mark. Okay. Someone who was wearing lipstick was here. Light tobacco with a... Hint Hints of citrus. citrus. So, can we narrow that down to a specific brand or something? Okay, so that is where the footsteps led. Did not even mean to do that. Uh, funny. Huh. I kind of was hoping to find a separate clue up there. So, hmm, the water interesting. Is shallow and the slope is smooth. One would have to be dead drunk to drown here. Or just dead already. Oh, are you having are you having I fun down there, John? Take the mind off all the murders. Yeah, you 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 make sand castles, okay? His body is tense, stiffened by rigor mortis. Oh, wait. There's a kiss mark the on, kiss the, forehead. on the, forehead. the forehead. Is quite intimate. Very but intimate. The lip rouge suggests a different type of intimacy. It definitely seems more like a killing call, uh, like a a calling card. What we got the here? Face is frozen in a contorted smile. I wonder. So were they posed? Wait. So are they a serial killer who's going after sailors? His fingers are clenched as if he's clutching to life even now. Interesting. Anything with the tattoos? Hmm. Nothing about the tattoos at all. Huh? What about the shoes here? Worn, soaked boots, size eight. Okay. Something smells fishy here, and it's not brine. No, there's something very fishy about this crime. One, the cyanide, and two, the fact that it seems like someone was waiting for him here specifically. Yeah, this was definitely not an accident. Okay, well, perhaps we'll talk to the detective then. What now? I've still got my report to write to make it. Uh, quick. This was not an accident, buddy. I hate to break it to you, <laughs> officer, but <laughs> let let pirate Sherlock tell yeah, you the tale. Me, boots. matey. The bottle of wine I found near the victim had been poisoned with cyanide. He was dead before <laughs> he hit the water. I mean, Whoa, talk about a look a that twist. that gives confidence, right? On the poisoner. Nothing to put my finger on, but I might need to inspect the other drowned sailor. Yes. Well, of course, I won't stop you. It's not my case anyway. We had a complaint about a body in a fountain. Can't have bodies laying about in fountains. Again, it seems a little suspicious that someone would drown Stardio, in a fountain. As as I know. You think they're connected? That is what I intend to find I out. I definitely Thank think you. they're connected. I mean, it seems weird that someone would go after sailors on dry land. All right, well, we found all the evidence here. Man, we're getting good at solving these. Okay, so the body was found in Scaladio. So I guess we want to go to the police station to find out exactly where that was. Come on. Come on, me matey. Come on, first mate John. We've got mysteries to solve. Yardy har har. And first we have to go investigate the archives. You know, pirate stuff. Oh, oh I wonder if these are like the devs. It's always fun when you find like big walls of photographs. Because that's oftentimes when they either include like patrons, if it's a crowd uh, crowdfunded game. Or they'll include devs, or you know, just family members. That's that's another common one. Okay, crimes, violent crime, subjects, suspect, and district Scaladio. Okay. Um, victims. There we go. A sailor was reported drowned in a public park at the intersection of Harbor Avenue and Baskerville Street in Scaladio. At the time of his death, the victim was presumably under the influence of liquor, or they were poisoned by cyanide. The body had a red kiss mark on one of its cheeks. Definitely seems like we're, we're getting a calling card here. 
Someone who's specifically going after sailors, perhaps. So we have a new location, Public Park in Scaladio. Where are we looking for that here? Right here? Yes! Wait, literally across the street? Wait, am, am I... No, that is literally, yeah, Baskerville and Harbor. All right, literally, they murdered someone across the police station. That is a bold move. You gotta have a lot of confidence in your MO, I guess. Okay, so it literally should be right here. Like, right around the corner. That's crazy. Yeah, right here. In this, in this little park here. And up we go. Yep, we found our crime scene. Drain the fountain and remove the body. I'm too late. Damn. No, work with what we have. Okay, well, I guess we can still investigate the scene, right? So let's go to our casebook. Boom. All right, so evidence piece number three. What do we got here? Cordona Chronicle. Newspaper. Last week's newspaper, the front page reads, Sky is the limit, Governor funds Arsenal's second airship. Okay. Oh, they're building a second airship, huh? Ah, another cigarette here. Perhaps the same red lipstick? Hmm, a bright red lip rouge mark. I think so. Now, the question is, is it the same kind of Light cigarette? tobacco with yep. a of citrus. It seems to be. And we also have a broken bottle here. A broken bottle with no label. No label, damn. It definitely looks like the same kind of glass, though. So the odds are that it's still like the, whatever, the siren song, liquor, wine, whatever it is. All right, so what a do we have here? Shawl. Could it be our sirens? Could be. Could not be. Oh, wait, is that a new... Wait, do we have a new wardrobe outfit? I mean, it's always fun when we get new items. I don't see... Yeah, no, I don't see the, the shawl here. Ah, oh, shame. We almost had something new. All right, what do we have here? Officer Ackley, it has come to my attention that you habitually forget to collect critical evidence from crime scenes, such as absent-mindedness... S such absent-mindedness is unacceptable for a police officer. I wouldn't be surprised if you forgot this note somewhere, too. This is your last warning, Ackley. I mean it. Ooh, Ackley, buddy. Yeah, you may need to find a new job soon. Hmm. Looks like a wallet? A worn leather tobacco pouch. Oh, tobacco pouch. Long time at sea. So, definitely belonged to a sailor. What do we have over here? Oh. A bottle of wine. The same this brand. Wine, again, don't sailors prefer spirits? You you definitely get the, like, you know, it's rum, right? That's the classic. Drained to the last drop. So this person drank every last drop, so we can't test it. Ugh, the litter bin is right there. So it seems like the sailor was here smoking and drinking the wine. So was someone giving them the bottle for free? Oh, I think we have our sailor's cap. His cap anymore. I might as well take it. Oh my god, now- yes, now we have a new item! Okay, we have to have a matching outfit with John now. Now that we can actually can complete the sailor's outfit, this is very important. So, someone was smoking, drinking their wine. I'm gonna guess it was given to them for free. Why else would they? Because, you know, again, the, the classic stereotype is that they would be drinking, you know, a bottle of rum. Uh, where's our sailor outfit? My- yeah, there we are. Marine uniform. And our, yes, sailor cap. Hell yeah. Nope, we're good. Actually, no, we're keeping the eye patch. We're losing the facial hair. We're losing the scar. Look at that. Now that's a fine sailing look if I've seen so myself. Look at us. Look at us. A pair of fine seamen. Well, a two feet deep fountain. I've seen some things, but this really takes the Exactly. Up. It's a lot of effort to drown in a fountain. Oh, we can recreate the scene now. Wait, wait, I feel like there's still more around here. Isn't there? I guess not. I mean, I guess we found everything here. Okay. What do we have? Time to enter the mine palace. John, your turn, buddy. All right, so what do we have here? Okay, so there was a woman here. She was reading the newspaper. She was also smoking, though. I guess the question is, what is the most appropriate? I guess we'll keep it in the newspaper for now. So, walked away? 
that's very confusing now. She definitely pushed him, right? Because the idea is that she's trying to make it look like they drown, but in fact, she's poisoned them. Oh. Was she reading the newspaper here? Mm. Give him a little kiss. She's reading the newspaper. Yeah. So perhaps she goes over here, reads the newspaper. What's over this side? Hmm. I think she gives him the booze. Maybe? Or, oh yeah, she's encouraging him to drink it. Okay, so maybe she gives him a little kiss. She's smoking? I don't know. I definitely think these two are correct. He's drinking, she's cheering him on to try to egg him on to finish the poisoned wine. Pushes him in after he's had enough that he is like essentially gonna die. So it looks like he's drowning. Like he he's basically in a fragile state because of the, the cyanide. Yeah, this is the, the tricky part. I'm not sure what these two are. I guess we can give this a spin. See how we like it. Aha, we this got it. Okay. Is victim of the same woman. Yeah. She poisoned him and pushed him into the fountain to make it look. Exactly. Like she's trying to cover it up. She's basically yeah. She's like a serial so, killer. Unless like so, these two guys in particular that she's it. trying to murder. Maybe you should take a look. Oh. What do we got here? This is so. This is where he fell in. What do we have here? Matches. A water-soaked matchbox from the drinking, the drinking Dutchman. Dutchman. So maybe that's where she's meeting the sailors. Uh huh. Okay. So we got all the key evidence. What about? Mm, we got a fork. Ah, uh, okay. What does a fork have to do Blimey, with it? me, the great detective is baffled by a piece of cutlery. Ha hey, you never know. It could be useful. Let's see. What do we have here? And coins. Copper soldi. Authentic but worthless. Hmm. So I guess the matchbook is our lead, right? Okay. Now we have all evidence here. Great. Excellent. All right, sailors, time to set sail. So we need to go to the drinking Dutchman, which we've definitely encountered before. Where are you? Looking for a bar. Ah, the drinking Dutchman. Perfect. Yeah, we encountered that ages ago. So I guess maybe she's luring them here or luring them from here. Oh. I'm shipping up to Boston in a few days. Uh huh. So maybe this is the the watering hole for sailors. Do you know anything about this? I'd help you if I could, but I know nothing. Oh, oh, sorry. I don't want to do that. I want to talk about this. The matchbook. Yeah, the pub is located in Southern Silverton near Victoria Bridge. We already know it. Help me, please. I don't know, but I'm sure there are others who'd be glad to help a fellow. I know. Uniform. Where could we Time possibly find the drinking Dutchman? I'm so sorry you can't you help us find the well. drinking Dutchman. I think he's had too much. I think he might have had one too many. Okay. Got some guys hanging around. Yeah, this is definitely the sailor's bar. Now the question is, has there been a lady regularly visiting in here? Picking up sailors. Let's talk to the to the barman. Can I get you, mate? Nah, I'm good. Don't want to end up like that guy who drowned in the fountain after having uh -huh. one too many. Aye, oh, I know. Yeah, fella. real shame about that shame, fella. Damn shame. But let me tell you, it wasn't the drink that got him. It was a curse. A curse, you say? I mean, did a siren curse him? Let's 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 be like playful. Let's play along with the superstition. Yes. It had something to do with the siren. No way, mate. That's just a dove superstition. <laughs> Wait, a real curse? I'm talking about a real curse. What are you talking about here now? He was from HMS Aculus. Some okay. Some schooner, nothing special. Except one of them Jack Tars shot an albatross. I Everyone guess that's bad luck. bad luck. Okay. Everyone. The dimwit brought the curse huh. on his whole crew. Wait, three, three are dead? Three. Who's the third? Wait, three? Yeah, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, I've heard of only two such accidents. Are you saying that another yeah. man drowned? Drowned or not, they've all kicked the bucket. Just this morning, another member of the another crew one. dead. It's a curse, I'm telling you. Huh. Yeah, we're to find so... It's really a curse. Let's go and take a look at that sailor. Yeah, hold on, hold on. So, again, 
it seems weird that these people are connected to that ship. Did that albatross belong to someone? It must indeed be the curse, but how do you know all that? Yeah. Well, he told me the whole story himself. Wait, and who? Yeah. Him, his crewmate. The one ah. who killed an albatross, Harry Thorne. He's renting a room upstairs. Okay. Every day we should go talk to him. completely rat -assed. Raving on and on about the bird around his neck. Hmm. He's sleeping it off right now. Okay. But when the blight wakes up, it will be the so he, same. So the, the, there, there's another guy who's again. still alive. So. Do you have a free room? Yeah. Certainly do. Dirt cheap. Here's the key. Go pick anyone you Great. like. Great. Perfect. Just what a sailor needs. Okay. So uh, what else do we have here? We have, whoa, whoa, whoa. We've learned about another dead sailor found in the alley behind the giant spare club on Queen Street near the intersection with Gloria Lane in Scaladio. John asked me to check it. Absolutely. So I actually really enjoy the John challenges in this game. They add some fun texture to the, to the cases besides, you know, just obviously straight up looking for all the clues. Okay, so we need to go. Hey, Barty, another one over here. Yeah, get my guy another one. Rounds on me, gents. Rounds on me. I got 371 Watson wads, and I can't wait to spend them. All right, so... Gloria Lane. Okay. It's on Queen Street and Gloria Lane in Scaladio. Queen Street, Gloria Lane, and Scaladio. Queen Street and Gloria Lane. So, like, right here? Wait, literally behind City Hall? Yeah, the, the, the Giant Sparrow Club. All right. I mean, it's not far away, so may as well go check it out. Interesting. Man, the load times in this game are fast. I mean, obviously, running it on next-gen hardware definitely helps, but it's really impressive for an open-world game. You can really move around the city. Okay. Behind the Giant Sparrow Club. So it's right here-ish. Somewhere around here. Did they drown in the well? I mean, it's not even a well. It's a fountain, goddammit. Aha. Uh -huh. cheap alcohol. Yeah, we found the location. Well, if it ain't Mr. Smarty Boots. Guess yes, what? Smarty Boots You're reporting right for duty. The poisoning, but this yeah. time, I'm ahead of the game. We've got another homicide on our hands. Same, same method. method. Same huh. everything. See All right, yourself. well, let's, in let's, inspe let's inspect it. Thanks, I guess. You seem kind of smarmy about it. All right, we got another dead body here. Uh, I think we have the same wine. No, it's rum. An empty bottle of rum. There'll be no sirens. So it's not the wine this time. I mean, they they could have poisoned a different bottle. Maybe they just ask for whatever their choice is. A sharp bloody rock stuck deep in the mud. The officer must hmm. have rolled the body over. So wait, they died on the, the rock, so maybe they aren't part of the curse, or whatever. Uh, anything else? Anything about the, the face? He suffered a head wound. He yeah, blood different MO. Underneath all the They're mud. not poisoned. I think he just fell. I mean, that's what it looks like. Uh, anything about the boots? Um, hello? Uh, what is this? Looks like he slipped. Yeah, I think he, yeah, 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 yeah. Look in the ground, there's like multiple marks where he was standing. I think this guy's just an accident. I don't think he is the murderer. Or, or sorry, not the murderer, a murder victim. What did I tell you? We yeah. Have a killer on the loose. We do have a killer it. on the loose, but true, this but is not one of their victims. This is very clearly an yeah. accident. The victim slipped and hit his head on a rock. I would have thought it obvious. Because again, oh, it's you rum. You gotta be kidding me. Yeah. I thought I had all this sewn up. No, I'm but sorry, you buddy. You just had to come along and make me look like an idiot. I hope you're happy now, genius. I'm not Just trying to make you look line. like an idiot. You're, I think you did that to yourself. Ooh, the curse of clumsiness. I hope it's yep. not contagious. Well, we definitely found it, and we cleared John's challenge. Excellent. Okay. Always good when we get to do that. So, we need to go talk to the crewmate. Go back up here. Yeah, that's interesting. So, that definitely is not one of the murder victims. But he is one of the people who was in that crew. Weird. So they're all part of this one ship's crew. Hmm. Yeah, I wonder if they, whoever, whoever owned the albatross, is after them. It would seem weird, but I guess. I mean, 
I, if you really love that albatross, right? Oh, it smells of stale cigarettes and Oh, God, yeah, this would be a foul-smelling room. Nope, this is a... I mean, for how much money they charged us, it is a fine establishment. Oh, I think we have a room open here. Oh, the smell hey, of John. Me feel groggy. All right, well, I think this guy is definitely uh, sleeping one off. All right, what do we got? Oh! The red lipstick. Wait, 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 wait. The same as we saw earlier. Yes. She's pretty free with her kisses. Uh huh. That's What's the note here? For her own good. Okay. What? Wait, dear Harry, you probably don't remember me, but I remember you. How could I ever forget our shared night of passion? Now that you've returned to Cordona, why don't you visit me at the Garden of Delights? You won't regret it. I promise. And don't you worry about the money. You are my very special client. Thinking of you, Elisa. Hmm. What do we have here? The photo of the cursed crew. He is yeah. born, and right next to him, our first drowning okay. victim. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. Anything on the back? The crew of HMS Achilles, Cordona, eighteen seventy-nine. Yeah, they're 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 all part of the Achilles. <laughs> now we walk into a trap. Guns blazing. The game is afoot, Shelly boy. Well said. I think I'll borrow that line from you, old chum. That's that's a pretty one. The game's afoot. I wonder how that could have originated. <laughs> okay. Well, I guess we know how that line came about, eh, John? Please stop drinking. The entire alcohol industry would collapse. He's an important pillar of the industry, okay? He's cold. No use trying to wake him. Fair enough. Hmm. Oh, now we have all evidence. Okay, so we couldn't talk to him. But we found out where we need to go next. The Garden of Delights. Which I'm guessing we we have to... I think it's going to be a brothel? Yeah. Now that you've returned... Yeah, 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 I think this is a brothel. So the Garden of Delights. I think we've passed this by. The Garden of Delights. That sounds familiar. There it is. Yeah. Again, it's paid off that we've walked around this island a couple times. Okay. So, we need to get a disguise, and I think we already have it, but maybe we need a beard? Hmm. Yeah. I think we need to get a big beard on. I think that's what it's trying to tell us. So, let's go to our wardrobe. Oh, we can't change clothes here. Come on. Aren't we renting a room? We cannot even change them our own room. Come on, game. Fine. Yeah, so we need to get a disguise, I'm guessing, to hang out there. We may actually need to maybe get another sailor's uniform, because I don't think ours actually matches. Yeah, it's hard to tell, but I think it's supposed to be dark. So, Garden of Delights is right over here. We're going to go to a clothing store. I guess this is technically the closest. I mean, sure. Why not? Let's go see if they have a better sailor's outfit. I think we have one that's good enough, but we may need to put on like a beard or something just to make ourselves look a little more sailory. Yeah, this is this is a cool little case here. I definitely thought we had finished all the main cases, but that's a pleasant surprise. So, let's see if she has a different. So, we're looking again for the Achilles. I wonder if she has a specific outfit for that. Ever, ever once in a while, like, there's a very specific costume we need to get. Yeah, not seeing anything here. Ah, no. We do. Look at that. That, I think, is the better. Yes, look at this. This looks more like their costume. I think. Ooh, actually, I don't... I don't know. It, it does. It's got the three stripes. Yeah, I think this is better. Between the two, I think this is the correct sailor's costume. But at the very least, we also should don ourselves a beard. A formidable size. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty good. Lush beard, sailor's uniform, and sailor's hat. Yeah, I think that's it. Look at that. We look like a fine sailor. 
Yar. Okay. Let's go up to the Garden of Delights. I'm assuming that she is one of the, the ladies working there. Right. I completely forgot about this. We stopped by here very early oh, on. It's you. I knew you'd come. It's been so long. But oh, you is she the bit. siren? I don't suppose you remember me, do you? Uh, you must be Elisa. You must be Eloisa, yes? Eliza. Wonderful. No point beating around the bush then. I've missed you, love. I, I wonder, wonder if, if she's prowess. been doing this to all of them. Why don't we go to my place for some wine and something extra? I think, yeah, I think she's... Uh, I have to do something first. I'd love to, but I have something to do first. I'll be back I wonder soon. how she's going to react Please, to that. don't be long. Hmm. Interesting. So we're definitely in costume. I mean, why not just go? Right? I definitely think she has been individually luring the different sailors from this crew and murdering them. But why? Let's go, Harry. Don't say you don't want to. Hmm. Yeah, let's go. How could I refuse such an offer from a pretty girl like you? Oh, let's maybe we right could now. have talked to the, the cop. Wonderful. Follow me. It's not far oh, from here. Ah, this is a bad idea. Well, here we are. Because no Make one knows we're here, right? right? There's the wine. Yeah. There's wine on the table. You should have some. Loosen you up. Bring out your naughty side. Oh, no. I don't what trust you. I don't trust you. Uh, absolutely. I'll join yeah, you. Yeah, no, no. I She's murdering you this crew. All right, then. I'll be waiting for you, pet. I'm assuming Sherlock already is, is picking up on this. Seriously, oh, boy, you are truly hopeless, Sherlock. Yeah, he really is. John, he is hopeless without you. Okay. I'm assuming we can investigate this area now. So, yeah, this is definitely it. Can I... Ah, I can explore. Hurry up. Yes. Should be out any second. Okay, okay, I'm, I'm gonna try, man. HMS Achilles, Friday, 5 p.m. She prepared for their arrival. She knew they were coming. Again, but why this crew? My dear Eliza, with this I am sending you the money that I promised in my last letter. Your father may still blame you, but I don't, darling. I know that none of it was your fault. He won't listen to me, but I'm sure he misses you too. I beg you, return home. Until then, you were in my thoughts and prayers. Your loving mother, Rachel Esposto. Or e e e Esposto. Rachel Esposto. So wait, what did they blame for what though? What the hell happened? Hmm. Okay. Let's see. The beloved child of a rich family. Yeah. So wait, why? Wait, wait. If she if she was living like a super posh life, why did she move to Cordona and become a, a sex worker? That seems. I mean, again, you know, it's work. I guess if you want to do it, if you, if you feel like you're good at it, but. Seems like an odd choice during this time period. Come on, hurry up. I'm trying. Uh, you're not helping, John. Ah, she's smoking six yes. cigarettes. The dots connect. These are her cigarettes. Okay, is this a journal? What the hell happened? Another one is dead. So this is her journal. Today, as I watched the ripples around him, I should have felt relief, yet I felt nothing. Nothing but my own pain. If only memories could fade away, like those ripples. I wish I could forget that dirty alley, that fear and helplessness, that feeling of their hands all over my body. I can't wash it away, not even by killing them. But there is only one left. It's too late to stop. Wait, so, oh. So I wonder if these sailors sexually assaulted her and she's getting revenge. Yeah, I mean, I don't blame her. This lip rouge looks good on her. Yep, that's her lipstick. And wait, is this the cyanide back here? Oh my god, does she really just have it out in the open? Yeah. It's cyanide. Oh, here she comes. Okay. Sorry for making you wait, sweetie. I hope the wine has kept you good company. Oh no, it's been delicious. Um. Oh, do we want to play along? Let's play along for a little bit. Oh yes, I needed to wet my whistle real bad. Yes. The bottle is full. You didn't even take a sip. 
Come on, drink it. I insist. Oh yeah, I she's. I have to decline. I Come on, yeah. Be 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 upfront. My health. Wait, wh wait, what's happening? It's time I drop my act. Yeah, the this beard's beard false. false. We're not I'm Harry. Not oh, yeah. I see. You're from the police, then, yes? Here to question me? There's no need. No, we're Sherlock not Holmes. really the police. I know crewmates, and I know why. Yeah. Well, Mr. Holmes, you can save your breath. I won't deny a thing. But please, stop tormenting Honestly, me I feel like just letting you Do go. You must. I mean, back then, there wasn't really any recourse for her, so... Uh... I won't, but you have to stop. How about that? I will keep it a secret, but you do have to stop. How can I stop now after all I've done? I thought it would bring me solace. Exactly, it's not it's bringing you solace. It is too late. You no, 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 it's not too late. That much is true, but it's not too late to move on. It's never too late. You're right. You must be right. I knew it all along. I just didn't have it in me to admit it. I'm glad that you do now. See? And here's your shawl. Oh, yes, the shawl from the scene. Yeah, John, you know we made the right choice. Thank you, Mr. Holmes. That Thank feels so right. Much. Aww. Feels like doing the right thing. She may have murdered them, but honestly, I don't feel bad about it. I do not feel bad letting her off the hook. 